Hello there. So in this video, I want to look on the mid journey prompts that possibly change in the way you're actually creating your prompts. It's make more creative, flexible, and also hopefully open some more depth inside the uh, clip they're using with mid journey. So what are we going to do? We start with the fractals. I love fractals. They are very cool mathematics and actually if you look everywhere, it's done by fractal function from the trees, shells, everything it's using. So and no wonder it's a mid journey can create a great fractals for us. So what are we going to do first? We're going to just type fractal. Let's go ahead and imagine and we'll just type fractal. This is, should generate a random fractal from mid journey. While this regenerated, we want to create all these different types. And for this, I'm going to use ChatGPT. With ChatGPT, I ask just create mathematical formulas of the fractals. Well, first, sorry, tell me, give me a list of the fractals. So it's give me 20 fractals, different name for them. And after it says, give me formulas for each fractal. So it's actually generate formulas. So let's look if MidJourney will understand formulas for us, okay? Or we should use it names. And of course, you know, jump ahead. Unlikely it will understand formulas because it does not have it necessary this math translation inside of this. So what are we going to do here? We're going to type imagine, okay? And we call fractal based on the formula. And we'll go paste the formula and let's process. Well, till it's processing, let's look at what we have right here. And notice we have a very nice fractal. It's a generic fractal. So it's creating very beautifully, nice looking, but it is not specific. So what we want to do, we want to go and use its specific names for those fractals. For example, same as we did the snowflake. Let's go copy this. Okay. And we'll do the same things. The fractal. formula and we'll just pass this formula because we need actual specify i think if i put it just cosh snowflake it will create something weird stuff for me and i did try before without specifying and it does kind of look very funny so right here you can see this is formula and it is does create fractal even right now we can see but it is not snowflake fractal at all and it just F words putting letter everywhere for me, but it's still very beautiful and nice, interesting fractal. And here you can see we have the snowflakes based on the fractal, which is actually another interesting way to create because fractal used to repeat it. And if you sometimes try to do snowflakes inside the mid journey, you will notice it may have some problems with the symmetrical stuff. So in this case, because it's based on the fractal, you can see how symmetrical they are. So it's creating truly symmetrical snowflakes. Of course, if we using the same effect, can, we can always going and let's go imagine. Oops, let me Put it command. I think I need to put command first. Yes, yes, of course we need command first. So it's snowflake and we can put it um, isolated background. On this case, we can remove it actually from background. If you want to take the snowflakes after imported in a vector basis and reuse and I'll show you how you can do this shortly. And right here we have it ours. You can see perfect isolation, like right there. You can see how it's well or black. You know what? Let's go just take a black upscale and upscale the white one. Next, I'm going to open the image and save this image. I think right now what I'm going to do is going inside the Adobe Express. It's a free online that we can do and just upload our image to convert JPEG to vector. And here we'll just drag and drop. And you notice how it is already vectorized for us and refining all these edges. The nice things about uh, vectorizing this image because we can use this as a scale um, how we want it and also help us maybe isolate even background more to create additional. And when you're done, you can download it and now you have it your vector image.
Okay, so this is kind of cool way to create one. Let's go try different. Let's go back here and let's go this fern. So we'll try another one. Okay. And we're going to for slash imagine and we're going fractal based on the notice what I'm doing. I'm specifying fractal based on this formula because how the clip inside or a text uh, conversion to kind of more machine AI language happen. It's take it and divide this and I'm putting separator between them. So let's go ahead, create this. By the way, if you are interested, I will post it all of this list of these fractals and formulas in down and below in descriptions of the video. So if you want to experiment by yourself, you're more than welcome to do this. Okay, so and right here are our fern and notice another small tip, the single quotes or double quotation, same as a printed sim, provide a little bit better separation. So if you want more focus on this, but there's our fern. Okay, so that is enough for the fractals. I say it's very fun. You can play with them. You also can have it fractals, use it for creating like a models. For example, you can say of cyberpunk model uh, with a fractal skin or some other stuff and it will create unbelievably cool result and here are some example for you so you can see how it can create very nice fractal almost look skin if you apply this to different so it's not just to create fractal it's also taken and applied to additional models so it, Think about this, you're creating one layer and you add more and more to create this kind of interesting, unusual look. Yeah, let's go ahead and look on now different option. So have you ever happened to you, you render stuff and it's look very cool and you know, you maybe want to uh, touch up a couple of things, but you want same image, everything, and you try to render again and now it's look total different. And reason behind this, because when the image is created, it is created noise. So it's great special random noise. And the reason why I put it quotes in random noise, because in a computer science math does not exist random noise. It's always create some predefined special mathematical formulas that will create pseudo random noise. But here's the interesting things. In a mid journey, we can actually use it option seed, which allowed us to use it specific predefined noise pattern if we want it. To create same things. So if you work before with like stable diffusion, notice right here we have the seed option where you can reuse it to create almost identical things. And I say almost identical because if we're going to the documentation for the mid job and check on a seed, you'll notice right here where it says it was identical versions one, two, three in test, but versions four, five in Niji, it's nearly identical. So it's very similar but you can create image with maybe few distinguish. Well, you know, you may create game, find 10 difference or something like this. So for this, what we're going to do, it's create line, but now what do you want? You want to add dash dash seed. And here's things, you can put it almost any type of the number and it can be up to this big number. So anything, if you want, you can put it 666 well, it does not open gate to the hell. I tried, but you know, you can put any number here you want it. And I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and go ahead, try to render this. So here we are in the receipt. And how do we know the seed number work? And you know what? I tried that number before. So let me go up above and look right here. We have it exactly the same with same seed. We have it this look, how the car all is positioned and we're going down and they look exactly same. The nice things about this, if you uh, want to keep it, you can always create different random seed and create art. And anytime when you need to come back and render, you can use it, but you can use it also not just for this. So let's go ahead, copy with seed number and we run one small experiment. So I'll put it right here and let's say I put it one extra period on the back. So the streets, busting, dot, dot. Let's see if 
that small change, just additional period on the end will affect how it will render. Because remember what's happening, it is taken all the stacks, the coding, and now try to add. And some of this noise, it does base it on the strings itself. Okay, and let's see what's happened right here. This is our previous, and you see how the car is facing one way. We have it all assigned. Let's look right here. Look, now they're facing forward, and we have it back of the car versus our red of the cars. Whoever tell you periods does not matter, it does in this case. So the one dot make a big difference in this case. But general, we still using same seed. So the noise overall is the same. It just modified. So for fun, till we do this, let's go copy our base right here. And at this time, what we try to do, we'll see if the actually changing seed number will affect. So instead, seven will put it six on the end and let's try this test okay and you can see it's definitely changed however it does keep somewhat close enough to original just give it a little bit more variations on this case so overall the seed number will provide you to lock lock on the look or what to render because it's we're using this node and if you creating image and one share the other people one can create exactly the same image you can pass them uh, your seed number, which is almost tell you, hey, this is the ID for these pictures or how you can render with this string. So let's go ahead and do something else now. Have you ever had a problem to create a nice descript visual description um, for your renders? And most now with new Mid Journey 5, where the majority based on the natural language descriptions, it's get a little bit harder. English is not my first language, um, if you did not notice my accent yet, but sometimes have a hard time to write descriptions and there is a calm, great tool. It's called ChatGPT, where you can utilize and tell and create those prompts. In combination of ChatGPT, the prompt writing with the mid-journey can create a real stunning, astonishing effect. So let's go ahead right here with ChatGPT and actually a couple things what I want to show you what we can do. The one, what use it usually I says write visual description. And this way it's kind of tell ChatGPT what I want to do. Of course, the ChatGPT many times can go on a narrative and then you can says, hey, no narrative in mind, just visual description. As well, you can limit it to how many characters you want to display. If you don't like it, you can reduce to make less of those, even less words. And of course, for example, if I want, I can say visual description of very intricate mix of landscape, tourist attraction. So you can put it all these different type of the words that you want to put together and make it right. Tell you true, in some cases, um, stable diffusion, it's a little bit more programmer kind of orientated uh, prompt writing a bit easier for me because I can set weight, I can all these different words and fix them. With natural language for some of us, it's a little bit harder to do. It's why JetGPT were great for this. And right here is an example. You can see right there, I want the jungle and my specific look on this when I says to JetGPT, if in the log, I said very integrative landscape of rainforest with highly detailed animals, fogs, rain, green plants and make it 600 words and only visual description. I don't want any narrative. And what I say narrative, because like below when it was creating, it says, as you wander through all this landscape, it's kind of words which I don't need it. And it's very easy to fix here. You just says make only visual descriptive, no narrative at all. Work, excellent. So let's go see what the result it is. And right here you can see what is created. It's perfect what I wanted. It's create forest, fog, haze, rain, precisely all these elements. And of course we can change this. Notice when you change to a little bit more illustrations, it does create kind of cool looking also with animals and everything. And to write this, 
it will be quite a bit hard list to do for me. I don't know, maybe you have it better. But I found with creating the prompts through the ChatGPT can create very nice result, more descriptive, more what is actually Mid Journey preferred right now, Mid Journey version 5. So let's look on a little bit more examples. And you can see also you can always create a little bit longer. And I do like to create cinematic look. It's a for reason if you create like YouTube videos, you can create, animate them. And that's what I'm going to play around with creating additional animations with this. As well, you can create like banners for your Facebook, social media, YouTube, whatever you like it. Very fast and easy way to create this. Okay. And another just small bonus tell you with the creating best, best prompts. If you look for stylization, remember the first, it's a, have it first words what you're typing and have it the most weight actually in this case. So in, if I want to create something, for example, illustrations or photorealistic, I want to put it them up front. Let's look right here. This is just text of the landscape mix all together which is actually produce quite a bit interesting landscape. Look, if I want illustrations, I'm going to put it illustrations up front right here. See, just word illustrations and look how much it's changed. Now it's look more as illustrations. And if I want photorealistic, I'll just put it photorealistic up front. And there you go. We have a different look. Now it's look more as photorealistic, more interesting versus our illustrations. And of course, here's a more stylizations. Remember, just put them up front of your prompt and it'll have it this center with much more interesting stylizations. For example, here is photorealistic as I showed before. We'll go down. Let's look what we have. We have it isometric and isometric. If you know, it's look like from 45 degrees and look what we have. It like almost same city preview. You can create this way. Let's go down right here. It's a 3D game, a little bit more stylization, a little bit less detailizations on a game. Since look almost like you're playing in a World of Warcraft or some other areas. And pixel art. Of course, if you like the old 2D kind of pixels looking, there you go. Look on the how beautiful applied black and white photography. Here is going. And we have it our abstract if you need it applied. Same link, same everything, just stylizations. And of course, 2D style shading, more as anime. And you can preview like in this case, almost look like anime. Again, all of this, it just, if you put these stylizations up front of yours, it does not affect um, overall structure, what you want showing inside. It's only will apply to stations. And I found that put them up front of your line will affect dramatically and it will guarantee you'll have it this style that you're going after. So this is a few um, tips. Hopefully they will help you kind of create more interesting work. Let me know if you have it something more interesting as well to explore, continue our journey. Have a great day to create your art.